right, now in the second uh, in the series of videos, I'm going to show you how to take that U3D file uh, we made in the previous video uh, and turn that into a 3D PDF. So here I have Adobe Acrobat open, and I'm just going to say create PDF and navigate to where I've saved uh, that U3D file. So in this case, I've just thrown it up on the desktop, um, and I'm just going to say open. Okay, so now here we have the uh, dialog box with our options. So you want to click here, show advanced options. Uh, and this is going to basically allow you to play around with how that PDF is going to display uh, once you open it. So here uh, on the launch settings, um, we can leave these uh, on default. But we're going to want to change things here from the 3D settings tab. Um, so background color, uh, I'm going to leave it dark gray for now. Um, you can switch that out. Lighting scheme, I'm going to change to headlamp. Um, of these options, that one generally looks the best. Rendering and animation style, um, I'm going to leave. Add default views, I'm going to leave. Um, and then I am going to click show toolbar uh, and open model tree, though. So those two I am going to turn on. Uh, and here in resources, uh, we don't really need to uh, do anything with that. Um, so one thing, though, is if you want to, in this poster image thing, have before you open the PDF, it show um, an image file, you can add that here. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to let it create that sort of um, preview image on its own. Okay. I'm just going to click OK, and it's going to think for a moment. And there you are. So I can click it to activate. And then on my left, uh, you can see those nodes. Uh, up here, I have that toolbar showing up. Um, and if you want this to take up more of the screen, you can just click here on the zoom. And yeah, just as normal, we can rotate it. Uh, and as I showed you before, turn these different objects on and off. So that's pretty simple. Um, that's how to take a U3D file and make a 3D PDF.